So I decided to treat myself this week, and I was like between two things, and one of the things was alcohol, and I went with alcohol. So this gin is kind of great. The way you look at me, you make me lose control. Hey guys, it's Chris here with a video, and I just wanted to do something, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I was just laying in bed being like a complete like lush today, and. Uh, on my day off, and I'm just like, hey, let's just talk about some of the books that I'm reading. That makes sense. First up, I have The Apocalypse of Malia Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson, and oh my god, this book started off fantastically. Larry, that first four chapters, I was just like reading it at work, and I was just like, I love this. I love this so freaking much, and I'm so ready to read the rest of this book. It's so good. But then I just stopped for a little bit. But I both, I've mostly been reading this at work. Um, I have a library book out. Um, so, like, if I have a lunch break where none of my, like, people I like to talk, chat with a lot are in it, then I'll just read that, or I'll read it if I get to work early, which happens quite a lot, actually. I'll just, like, read that hour before work, um, and I'm enjoying this book a lot. And I'm going to review it when I'm done, when I, whenever I finish it. I'm so about it. I love some of these writing, um, but this book, you all, is so good. The main character is gay or bi. I'm not sure. I think she's gay. Um, and she has powers. She is the product of a virgin birth, um, and some apocalyptic crap is happening. It's it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I'm enjoying it. Um, another book, another library book that I've started is My Fairy Godmother is a Drag Queen. It's a Cinderella retelling um, that's hella gay, or like loose Cinderella retelling, I guess. I'm not sure how, how much Cinderella we're going to get. The main character is, like, a, um, does live with a stepmother who's kind of a fucking mess and some step-siblings who also are kind of messes. Um, but I think one of the step-siblings is a step-brother, like an older step-brother and an older step-sister, which I already like that. Um, and, yeah, I start, I've, I only read, like, the first couple of chapters of this, but, like, we're already getting to the point where, like, his fairy godmother has shown up, is a drag queen, and they're like, you're going to this 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 event, this big social event, you're doing it, and I'm just really, really about it, to be honest, so. So, I started this book because it's actually really due really back really quickly to the library. It's due back before these other two library books, and I can't renew it because some people are waiting for it. What? Uh, this book is called Alan Cole is Not a Coward. It's actually a really short book. It's only like 200 on the page, and the font's kind of big, so I'm probably going to just blaze through it when I, like, like, the day before it's due back at the library, knowing me. Uh, but <laughs> it's about a kid named Alan Cole um, who has a kind of crappy life going right now. He has a really vicious older brother who's not really a good guy named Nathan. And he also has some issues with his father and some things like that. His brother finds out that he's gay and challenge and makes him do these like lists of challenges to so that he's not outed, essentially. Um, and I don't know. I saw it on the library list when I was looking up queer books, and it seemed interesting, and I was like, I'm going to take it out. And apparently other people are trying to take it out now, too. So <laughs> I have to read this one soon, and I'll tell you all if I like it when I do finish it. But I'm, I'm very much about it. It seems really interesting. Um, it's by Eric Bell, who I've never read anything by. I've never heard anything about Eric Bell, but this seems really interesting, and I'm excited to finish it. On my Kindle, I'm currently reading Leo Loves Aries, which I should have done a long time ago. It's kind of like a, almost a reread, because I read like a t lot of the book, and I stopped and just never went back to it, so I'm just picked up from the beginning, and I'm rereading it. Um, and I'm planning on reading the book, the sequel to that book in that series, um, which is something, some Aries Hate Scorpio or something like that? No, some, some Taurus Hate Scorpio? I don't know what it is anymore. The Yellow Series is, like, a really great MMS. Like, I'm enjoying the story so much as I'm going through it. Um, the main character has a twin sister uh, who's blind, so there's some interesting representation there that I'm seeing and I'm really enjoying. Um, and, yes, I don't know. It's just, it's been really good. Um, it's the main character and his sister have uh, some bad relationship stuff going on in their past, um, and they're, like, made this pact to try to, like, move forward. And... He, they get a new roommate named Jamie, and the main character and Jamie have, like, some, like, they develop a strange friendship that he didn't really expect to, like, develop, and it develops into more as the story goes on, essentially. And, yeah, I'm just here for it. It's, like, I'm going to review this one, too, for sure, because it's, it's really cute, 
and I like it a lot. And I just, I don't know. There's things I don't like about it. There's absolutely things I don't like about it. But overall, I really like the Hill series a lot. So, and then, like, enough that I already know before finishing this book that I'm going to read the other books in the series. So, yeah. My current audiobook, which I actually have in physical form, I'm listening to The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lane. A lot of people have really enjoyed the story and really been, like, big fans of the story. I'm going to tell you right now, as far as I've gotten into the story, uh, nice having the physical books in the library and having the audiobooks in the library, because I can go back and forth on things a little bit if I want to. And there was a point where I was listening to the audiobook, and it was like, I think it was like a chapter four, where I felt like I need to go and like read the part and the book. Also, the audiobook is narrated by Tom Riddle, the guy who actor who played Tom Riddle in the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter. I was like, about that, I'm very about it. Um, but besides that, this is good. It's great. I'm enjoying it. It's not like it's a horrible thing at all. Um, but there's some elements of it that I just don't like. Like, this is about two bad guys, kind of Victorian England, kind of an adventure story. Um, the younger sister is a part of the story as well, Felicity, and she's just a fantastic character. She's really, like, honestly, she might be my favorite character in the story thus far in this, in, into this text. Um, and there's so many things I like about it. But then there's also the elements that I don't like, and I'm wondering if I'm gonna if my review is going to be the same as some. Of, I feel like, I know my review is not gonna be the same as some of the like, reviews that I've heard for the story uh, from other queer booktubers. It just, I have some issues with it that I'm gonna that are prominent and are probably gonna take my review down to at least a three. Like I'm already, I feel this is gonna be a three star book for me, but I'm still really excited for the book that follows the character of Felicity, which is probably coming out. Uh, looks like it's coming out. Um, so we'll see. Maybe, maybe um, my, my mind will change as the story goes on, and it'll be a four or five. But at the point where I'm in the story, as much as I'm enjoying it, it's probably going to be a three. So we'll, we'll see. But, like, a three that I can actually talk about is not going to be like, you know, sometimes you're like three and you're lukewarm. This is going to be a three where it's like, here are all the things that I like, but here is why this is actually a three. Like, this, these are prominent issues for me that I need to talk about because, y'all. Um, but, yeah. I'm very soon to that on a book. I'm hoping to finish that. Ooh, when's my next day off? On one of my next two days off, I'm probably going to finish that audio book. That's the plan, at least. Um, but I think I have six days in a row after this. So, we'll see. <laughs> so, that might be, like, a next Wednesday, me finishing it thing. So, we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> All right. That is it for this video. That is it for my drink. Not like I'm going to get. I'm just going to pour. Um, <laughs> that is it for my drink. That is it for this video. Also, this is really good. Like, I used to not be a gin drinker. I was not a gin person. My mind has been changed in the last six months. Y'all. I'm going to be real with you. It happened in December, actually. Y'all. Jen and me became friends. It's great. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that's the next video. <laughs> I will see you all in my next one, which will be soon. I'm also going to, I'm filming two of my movie reviews today. Um, so they will be, there will be more uh, top 50 queer films coming out soon. Look forward to those. I will see you all in my next video.